What is the single most important moment in Grangetown's history? Um, I'd be reticent to just designate one. I mean, obviously the formation of it as a Grange uh, was a major uh, milestone, and that takes us back to the early 12th century. Um, after that, it would be the dissolution of the monasteries when the monks' land had to be given up to private ownership. But I suppose the real trigger for Grangetown as we see it today was the year 1857, when by Act of Parliament, the area could be exploited both for industry and for housing. So 1857 is a key date. Um, another key date, sadly, is 1941 and the Blitz, when Grangetown was the target of uh, German bombing, of course, because it had a, a major gas works here, which supplied most of Cardiff. And the, the, the area did suffer quite badly from it. My research, however, brings up a rather dark um, period in Grangetown's history, for stretching from about 1860, when construction had really got going, right the way through to the 1880s. Um, in a few words, it was about poverty, sickness, crime, and general ill health. It had the lowest, during that period, had the lowest um, um, uh, figures for uh, rude health in the whole of Cardiff and uh, ranked alongside some of the sickest towns in uh, the Midlands, which uh, also, of course, had welcomed thousands and thousands of people crammed into small houses uh, where health was very poor. So the health disaster and poverty there was uh, quite extreme. And um, in my book, and this, this is what actually triggered my interest in writing another book on the poor and the workhouse in particular, Grangetown, uh, if you look in the workhouse records, uh, the Cardiff workhouse being what was St. David's Hospital on Cowbridge Road, then you will find that Grangetown features strongly once we get to about 1860, 1870, uh, in people who were literally too sick to live on their own or lived on the streets um, because people lived literally from day to day. Um, also, the infrastructure was very poor. Uh, one of the worst things you can do is build houses on a marsh that will not uh, dry out. So uh, chest complaints were common. Uh, and of course, things like offal, people often kill their own pigs and chickens, which was just left on waste ground, would pollute water sources. So that was um, quite a bleak period. And uh, my ne next book will be devoted to that kind of thing, uh, not just in Grangetown, but uh, across the UK.